Bust out the plastic wrap and sharpen your knives because Dexter's back. It's been a whirlwind. A bloody, bloody whirlwind. On this IMD Brief, we break down the latest trailer, July's Comic-Con at Home panel, and everything else we know about Dexter New Blood. When we last saw Michael C. Hall's Dexter, he had left his son Harrison with Hannah McKay, a fellow serial killer with whom he'd been in an on-again, off-again relationship. He then went into a self-imposed exile following the death of his sister, Deborah Morgan. I love you, Deb. It's been nearly eight years since the season eight finale left some Dexter fans disappointed. The ending was was mystifying at best to people, confounding, exasperating, frustrating. And all those words too. Hesitant fans will be excited to learn, however, that Clyde Phillips, the original showrunner from the first four seasons, is back for New Blood, which could spell a return to form for the show that many felt had declined towards the end. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. Yikes. Dexter New Blood seems to find our titular character in a much better place, living in a small town and going by the alias Jim Lindsay, a nod to Jeff Lindsay, the author of the books the show was initially based on. What's up, Jimbo? Hey, Mr. Lindsay. And in all the free time he's had from not killing. If in fact he hasn't been killing. <laughs> okay, in the free time he's had when he may or may not have been killing, Dexter even went and found himself a girlfriend, Angela, played by newcomer to the series, Julia Jones, who was careful to play her cards close to the vest during the Comic-Con at Home panel. They have a romantic connection. They are together, I would say. They definitely have a journey. But it wouldn't be Dexter without conflict. And New Blood's main antagonist is Kurt Caldwell, played by Clancy Brown, who you'll recognize from The Shawshank Redemption, Lost, The Flash. Nah, I just like to mess with you. <laughs> oh yeah, he's also Mr. Krabs. In addition to Brown, Lovecraft Country's Jamie Chung will join the cast as true crime podcaster Molly Park, who could spell trouble for Dexter. And if there's one thing the trailer makes clear, it's that there is a lot of trouble to be had. But don't worry, there will also be original cast members returning, including Jennifer Carpenter as Deborah Morgan and John Lithgow as the Trinity Killer, both of whom we saw die, so your guess is as good as ours as to how that's gonna work. Our money's on zombies. There will be some returning cast members from the original series that will make some people's brains explode. Exploding brains, huh? Definitely sounds like zombies. For more trailer breakdowns and trending tales, stay glued to imdb.com slash imdbrief.